Hey guys, what's going on? So far on this channel, we have built 10 SaaS projects with our most popular projects being clonify.app, which is a video cloning app similar to HeyGen, which is a $100 million company. SocialWolf.io, which is a social media app similar to Hootsuite, a $1 billion company. Flipify.ai, an app to help hustlers buy and sell cars for profit. StockTalk AI, an app to help investors discover new trends with AI. Video Editor SaaS, an app that helps you turn long form videos into multiple viral short form videos. And now that I'm working on my newest startup, Creator OS, I've given all these code bases away in my No Code Academy. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly exactly how you can fork these projects and add them to your own applications so that you can own these code bases and start selling them moving forward. So for today's breakdown, guys, we are gonna be forking the social media app build that I released on this channel a week ago. And I'm just gonna show you guys step-by-step step how I would fork this exact project if I was you. All right, guys, so I'm gonna sign into GitHub and I'm gonna to go to the repository of the social media app build. So the social media app build is called Kev's social media app. And when we open this up, we can see that we have nine collaborators that are already working on this project and four people have already forked it. That's exactly what we're gonna do right now. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this code drop down. I'm gonna click on the HTTPS link and I'm gonna copy that URL to my clipboard. Once I do that, guys, I can head to literally any AI app builder that I want, whether that's Cursor, Bolt, Replit, Lovable, to then fork the project. So here we are in Replit, and on the left-hand side, I'm just gonna click Import Code or Design, and I'm gonna click on the GitHub option, and now I'm going to paste in that URL. And so if you have access to this GitHub repository, you're immediately able to import it, and here it'll say ready for import with the full Replit agent support. And to make this example a little bit easier for you guys to understand, I'm gonna switch the owner from my Batty Ventures organization to my personal account, which is exactly how you guys should be doing it as well. So I'm gonna click into that, and now I'm going to import the project from GitHub. Now guys, with this specific application, there's one core API key that is needed for the app to actually run. So when you first fork it, you're gonna see on the left-hand side that the agent is gonna start integrating all of the dependencies and all the different pieces of the tech stack that it actually needs to build out. It's also going to copy the database schema structure that comes with the project that I gave you guys. And here it's throwing its first error, which is saying database URL is not set. And that's because this project hasn't built out a database yet. And so the agent is actually going to now understand that. And in real time, without me saying anything, it has now said, I'm migrating your project from Replit agent to the Replit environment. This is essential for compatibility, safety, and security. This process may take a little time as I need to set up the database, install dependencies, and ensure everything is working properly. And so now we can see it got through that database error and it threw its next error. And that error is the session secrets, which is actually needed to run the application. But the agent, once again, just literally created that session secret. And so if we go into the secrets tab, we can now see our entire database API keys and the entire app has now loaded on the front end. So now, that the so now that the app is loaded on the front end, you can play around with signing up, signing in, seeing how all of that works. But most importantly, you wanna actually add your API key to see if all of the features are actually working. And since this is the social media app build, I'm going to now add in my AirShare API key. So just like that, guys, I'm now gonna give the agent access to the AirShare API. And now every feature that I built in that two hour long tutorial should be working for your app here. And now we're gonna test everything out. So the first thing that we want to test is the ability to sign in with an authentication sign in. Now that we're logged in, we can see it's pulling my full name. That's awesome. And now I'll be able to connect my socials, create a social profile and all that fun stuff as well. And so in a nutshell, guys, that was just five minutes to show you guys exactly how you can literally fork any project that is in our academy or uploaded to GitHub as a public repository. And so if you just set up an agent to go and find the most recently uploaded public repositories, you can, pro you can probably find some pretty cool SaaS projects that you can copy in a couple of minutes. And so, yeah, I hope this I hope this helped and have fun forking all of the code bases in the academy.